this looks this is uh, some kind of a soda bottle see bottling get it to focus bottling but I can't see the side of it most of these bottles are broken we know that's a food jar right there let me dig a little bit Okay, I know what it is. It's a made right root beer. You can see the M. Right there. Made right root beer. Let's hope it's complete. Wow, it feels complete. There's so much glass all over the place here. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. It is so far. Yes. Made right. Root beer. See the M right there? Okay, it's from Little Rock. Little Rock. Boy, it's bottling. It's losing all of its embossing. Or it was just not that plain. No chips. Cool. All right, I like that. My favorite root beer. Okay, this says Southwestern Wine. I thought it said company. Oh, company. Memphis, Tennessee. There's not much left of it, but it did have some embossing. I found this uh, part of oil lamp. Now this bottle's about oh, 180 miles from its from from Memphis. Okay, just a second. I'm not sure what this is. Let's pull it out together. Oh, it looks like a sauce bottle. Wouldn't you know. Screw cap. Oh, it was some pretty glass when I was looking at it. Well, it looked like a sauce bottle. Oh well. water line I don't know whatever it is it all leaked out I was beginning to think there wasn't any children at this home it's kind of neat and find this plate Hello, let's go over some of these bottles I found over the past couple of weeks um, and a few comparisons. Uh, this one we found about two days ago underneath the Girls Wanted sign and it's a beautiful bottle. Not, not not really even a scratch on it 
and you can see this one I found a couple about a week ago it's from Orange Crush also here in Little Rock but it's all beat up it seems like I'm finding more of these uh, than I am these with the red on it okay okay this is the made right brand root beer that I found today the embossing is hard to see right there and I found this one oh this spring you can see the made right really stands out compared to this one they're both made here in Little Rock bottling company Little Rock bottling property of Little Rock bottling company okay so this one here has a 37 37 9 flow ounces this one it don't have the flow ounces on it this is a beautiful bottle here okay next okay these are the barks that I found you saw me dig this one the other day and I just noticed on the bottom it says Barks Beverage Company Little Rock, Arkansas how cool is that? yep all the paint faded on it so there was no words here but it's on the bottom okay and on this one um, I can't even see the ghost image or, or there was nothing e ever even there it's got a pat, pat number on it D98026 12, 12 flow ounces this is 12 flow ounces you see the difference in there okay next okay this is the debossed Dr. Pepper that surprised me oh, a couple of videos back look how thick that glass is six and a half flow ounces good for life I need to clean that one a little bit more oh, that one feels really heavy these are my two um, oh that's different of course it is there you go debossed it's the green one that is different this one's got Dr. Pepper in it this one just has the clock on it that's different too just Dr. Pepper on this one and it's embossed on this side this one hmm this one's made in Little Rock right here Little Rock Arkansas awesome okay next okay here's that IBC root beer that's embossed turned out okay I've seen better and I know where there's a about a six pack in the woods I might um, see, if, see if they clean up any better 
Okay, on the Little Rock Coke, this one says right here on the side, eight one L fifty one. So to be from nineteen fifty one, it's a nice looking bottle from Little Rock. Yeah, a bunch of these cleaned up, really, just not a scratch on them. Here's the double cola. North Little Rock, Argenta Bottling Company. North Little Rock, that's across the river. Mm, nothing on the bottom. Okay, next. Okay, um, today I got cut, cut short, so um, I did find another World War II, World War II um, light cobalt. There's a marble. And here's the pepper sauce. It, hasn't cracked anymore so I'm probably gonna keep it I like it Tabasco peppers okay and since I'm a root beer collector these are the two frosties uh, I don't know much about this Camden New Jersey under the authority so it it could have been made anywhere ten ounce and here's the other frosty old fashioned bottled under appointment of the Frosty Company. So it could have been bottled anywhere. Yes. Thanks for watching.